Well, let's try it this time, you guys. Sorry about that. These cameras with the autofocus and stuff like that, even when you shut it off, the camera still has a mind of its own. So I figured today I would just share a little bit while I'm working on something. So look, I'm working with Zoe. Love it. Love the colors. Love the theme. Hey, Renee. So I decided that I am going to, I have some pictures of my grandkids that I want to use in this layout. And we all know that you can't scrap every picture you take. Hi, Gisela. Hey, Lynn. So I decided that I'm going to scrap these because they're precious. So I got to get them printed. But so this is on clearance right now. And I've had this for a year. But it's the back to school thin cuts with the stamp set with the little kids. Oh my gosh, I love this. And they're still wet. But, oh, come on now. I gotta find my... This is the problem that I'm having, just trying to get everything to focus. So, I'm gonna zoom in for just a second, just so that you can... Oh, Gisela, that's so funny. Yeah, I've had that happen to me with other people. I'll be just sitting there, and then all of a sudden, okay, so hopefully it'll focus. Let me get my, come on. I don't know why the autofocus has been, Let's turn the autofocus off, focus it myself. There. Okay. And then these are my little boys, and I watercolored them with watercolor pencil. And these are my girls. They're still wet, so they're a little bit curly. But I thought I'd use these on my layout, maybe, you know. But this is Liam. This is Kensington. We call him Zinger. This is Emma. This would be Malia. And this is Millie Mae. So I made those earlier, and they're all, like I said, they're all cousins. So I thought I would take, let me get it over here. So I cut out some craft um, quilted circles. I've got to move this because I can't see what anybody's saying. Oh, Renee, I love it. I'm telling you what. Hi, Sela. I thought that. Feels Like Home was my favorite. Well, man, I just, no. Zoe's pretty close to that. So I've got all of these cut. Oops. Oh, my gosh. I cut my nails off, finally, and now I can't pick anything up. See, shorter, a lot shorter. It's just easier. Life is simpler that way. Um, there's my I. There's my other S. Where are my... Now, where are they? Because they were just here a minute ago. There's my U. Here's my C. Okay. So then what I thought I would do is, this is going to be the same color kind of, but I'm going to put, I used, this is probably the one and a, I think it's one and a half. That's a one inch circle punch. Whoops. Okay, that's a one inch circle punch. And I cut these letters out on my Cricut at three quarters of an inch. So, because I want to make, and I had, oh, I want to make um, this about the cousins. So anyway, I went through all of my card stock, okay? I have not every color that's, a, that is smoothie right there. But I don't have every color that is in the Zoe paper. But what I have found is, you know, our papers, I do have mint. I do have the mint. Um, they coordinate. So. 
instead of heather i'm using the charcoal but i'm using the lighter side and i don't remember i think that's i'm not going to tell you because i really don't remember um let's see i need one more color and i think i'm going to use the lighter side of mint maybe or the light side of lagoon i'm going to use that so i had a piece of white daisy on here and i was going to make my layout on the white oh the camera did not like that sorry i'm just trying to get these on there so i don't lose them really so these are going to go on my layout because it's about cousins so i need to glue these together but i'm going to take them oh get my glue take them off a little bit take them off let's see hey brenna hey jody my stalker this is your stalker oh yeah i'm just gonna glue these on real quick you guys i'm gonna zoom back out here and i don't care if the glue seeps out a little bit because get my webcam back down here all right hit done on that and zoom back out there we go there we go okay now you can see what i'm doing so what is everybody else doing today feel free to chime in i'm just gonna work so the Zoe um, paper kit, I thought about doing a workshop on that. You know, I didn't know if anybody would be interested. You'd have to order the kit because everything that we make would come from the kit. So, and it comes with a stamp set and it's, they marked, it's down to $32. But they did say on the close to my heart, um, website today they did a video for consultants i think they might have done one for customers i'm not sure but in our consultant group they told us that they do not expect this to last to the end of may and i said that when i showed the paper i don't think it will either um there are consultants that are buying it up left and right and i mean that's great everybody loves it but I would rather my customers have a chance to buy it first. That's just me. And no, I'm not somebody that you walk all over. I just really feel that way. You know? Yes, I love the paper collection. And I want to use it in my scrapbook layouts. But, you know, it's not about me. So I got to be careful. Because one of these is a U and one is an N. And I got to figure out. Let me do my O. The colors. Because see, I don't want to put... I think I'm going to put O on here. I don't want to end up putting two blues together. You know? Jody, are you trying to tell me you just got up? I thought you were going to bed last night when we got done talking. I ended up going to bed. I passed out and then got up at oh, four o'clock this morning and went back to bed. I made coffee, put it on, went back to bed. And our coffee pot shuts off after two hours. Well, it shut off. Okay. So, C O U S I N S. So we'll do the I in this color. And don't ask me what font this is because I can't remember, but I use it all the time. I use it all the time. I think it's a good kid font. Oh, 
almost done with these. And then it's just a matter of getting my papers cut and getting them down the way I want. And putting some embellishments on it. I don't make everything for my scrapbook layouts. But a lot of times I do just because I like to. But if I would have just done the layout with the stickers that come with the paper. I was really shocked that stickers came with the paper pack, you guys. Because we just, we don't do that. And I was pretty glad. That's why you only get six sheets of paper. Because you're getting all those. And the stickers are cardstock. They're not paper. They're thick. They're really nice. I'm going to use some of them on this layout. I'm going to have to scroll here in a second and see who's saying what's because I'm, I'm not a rude person, you guys. I just don't see everything. Well, I try not to be rude. All right, let me move this camera thing. Oh. Oh, cool, Gisela. I love the dreaming tree. They're awesome. Oh, Jody, I'm sorry that you have a headache. That really stinks. It's because you worked so hard all week, and now you're coming down from it. That's what it is. Okay, so that's that. Take these off here. I got to figure out what I want to use my use for my layout. I wanted to use white, but like I said, I think the camera is going to be... Um, well, it shouldn't now, right? Because I turned the autofocus off. There we go. I think I might do it on white. I don't know. I'm looking. I thought about doing it. This was that color they had on clearance. That, what is it? Flaxen. It's like a, uh, I don't know if you can tell. It's like a green, like a greenish it's baby poop green. I'm sorry, but that's kind of what it is. I don't know what else to call it. Um, but look, that kind of goes with it. So I thought about using that. And I think, I think I might use that for my background. Hmm. So I picked out my papers that I'm going to use because I'm not going to use all of them. I wanted it to be unisex. Because I'm putting boys and girls on this layout. So I picked out the mint and heather. Let's see. I think it's just mint. But it looks like there's a little bit of green on the edge. Um, <coughs> excuse me, you guys. The hound's tooth. I picked out the dress pants. Like plaid heather. You know. Because I thought, you know, it is going to have boys on it. So I picked out this with the little arrows. I love this paper. I love it. And then, because I am going to have little girls, I thought we need polka dots. You know, so this is my color choice. What do you think? I think it's cute. I think it's going to work. So, seeing this makes me wonder. I don't want to lose any of those letters. But it makes me wonder if I should use some of that yellow instead. No, I'm going to build on this one. I'm just going to go for it, you know? I'm just going to go for it. So I've also decided to use, um, I don't know how you guys like to do it, but I like to know where my pictures are going to sit. So there's one picture of all of them together, and then there's pictures, just separate ones. And I'm going to have to find... Another picture of Emma to put in there because Emma wasn't on the porch that day. She was taking a nap. So I kind of want my pictures, I think, to sit like this. All right. Which they'll be straighter. But these are three by threes, and that's a four by six. And then I also thought about putting them. You know, you could do it this way. Gosh, there's so many ways. <clears throat> I also like to do it kind of. You know, I haven't put this one down here though. Kind of wonky. Since it's for kids. But because I want to put cousins on here, 
I thought about putting these. Let me grab them. Putting these. So I put this one under and this one on top and this one under and this one on top and this one under. See, I thought about putting these at the bottom. You know, I thought those were cute. They look like little buttons. So I don't know. Like I said, I'm just going to start cutting stuff and putting it on there. Oh, so... I'm going to move this aside and hopefully I don't dump it in the floor. I cannot wait, you guys, to get my craft room done. So we're not even starting on it yet. We're going to wait until, actually, I don't know what he's waiting for. I think he's just waiting. So I know I want to make like a ribbon about three inches wide. Okay. And since it's 12 inches, I want to go about not, because I don't want to go all the way across with this. So I think I'm going to go to nine. And guys, seriously, I have no uh, sketch in mind. I have no um, plan. <laughs> I just know the colors I want to use. So then I also wanted to use that side. So I'm going to make oh what did i say that was three inches so maybe a two inch strip of that whoops i'll do a two inch strip of that and on I don't want a whole lot of brown, but I do want some. So why don't I try a one inch strip? I can always go back and cut another one. So there's a one inch. I wonder how that green would look on there. I don't know. I don't know. And then there's this. So which way do I want these to go? I want to go that way. I already cut all the zip strips off of these so that. I think I'm going to go two and a half with this one. So they would be done. The zip strips are so cute, you guys. So, 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 so stinking cute. Okay, there's that. I wanted to get some yellow in there. So I thought I would, what is that, six? Two and a half. So this would have to be two and three quarter. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm thinking about, see, I'm thinking about Matt and some of these. And then I just wanted a couple of strips of smoothie. I, you know, it is the color that's like in here. And I used that for my circle punch, so I'm going to cut that. And that should be one inch to cover that. Mm, not quite because it's going inch and a half. Inch and a half. I cut that off. And. My husband must be sleeping because I tried calling him earlier and he's in the other room and he did not answer. We've been cleaning house today. So, you know, my daughter and my grandkids moved out. In case you didn't know, my daughter and my grandkids moved out. Three grandkids. And you know what? I bet this is Blossom, not Smoothie. It is. It's Blossom, but that's okay. It'll still work. Um... So they moved back to their house, 
and my grandkids are really missing their grandma and grandpa. Of course, we're really missing them too. We tell them that we miss them, but we don't go on and on about it because we don't want to make them sad, you know. But anyway, so Michael and I decided that since Lauren and the kids are gone, it is time for us to take our house back. So we were cleaning and I got stuck with the bathroom, which I really don't mind. Believe it or not, I like to clean the bathroom. The bathroom and the kitchen are my favorite rooms to clean. And I know I'm weird. Don't hold it against me. I think I'm going to get another piece of this just so I can have some dark. I think I'm going to go with a half inch syrup. Yep. I, uh, I'm going to put these. Oops. Oh, sorry, you guys. Kiesel up. I made you sick. I'm sorry. I'm going to move those over there. And let's see. What else do I want? What else? What else? What else? I don't think I want any of that color. And I do have some. Well, what do I do with it? Green. I have some green. So. I might use a little bit of green on here. This is fern. And it'll go with it and I turn it over and see so I'm okay with that I'm okay with that all right I don't know I'm move this out of my way oh I figured you were probably teasing but I really do not want to make you sick I get motion sick I can't even ride in the back seat of a car. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, you guys. It's the what that time of year. This weather is like, ugh. I was going to show you, though, before I colored them, what they look like. Look at, isn't she cute? And then there's the little boy. And there's another little girl. But, oh, here she is. I do have some more of those cut out. And then here's the little girl oh i just love them and you could use them i think it'd be cute to use them on a layout just like this but what i did was i stamped them all out and then i cut them all out um and they would be easy to fussy cut see that's the thing i didn't think they would but they actually they would but yes that set is on sale on clearance for 650 if you want it go get it you all know how the clearance works okay so i'm going to start with this piece and I think what I want to do with this, get my scissors, get my pencil, and I've got my ruler. So, move this out of my way. And I want to find, get up here where you guys can see me, I want to find the center which is going to be one and a half. I forget. I always close my pencils before I put them up. So one and a half and one and a half. And then I want to come up an inch. Can you guys see what I'm doing? You can't. I'll just show you down here. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, so I found my center mark. I'm going to line this up. I want to come up an inch. Because this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut up on that line. All right, now I'm going to cut. I gotta cut a little bit more off. That's how I make mine. I don't know how anybody else makes theirs, but and I don't draw lines over here. And that's what I wanted to do. Let's cut that. So here I am. 
I'm cutting, cutting, cutting. I love to cut paper. I love the sound of it. And see, all you'd have to do if you're not sure is just then from that line, you guys see, okay, from that line down to that corner and then draw a line. Right there. That easy. And then you would just follow your line. But, like I said, I don't do it that way. I eyeball it. You guys know I'm not a big fan of having to measure. I don't mind measuring all the time, but I don't know. I don't know. But anyway. Okay. So that's cut. And my plan is for that piece. Get this out of the way. Is for that piece to go here. Now, I'm not keeping these on there. Like I said, these are just to help me get everything lined up. And then I thought about taking this piece. And that's cut at 12. So we would leave that. Get that. Line up. Thought about doing that. What do you think so far? And then, and then, this yellow, instead of that and that, put this yellow down here. I love the yellow. I really do. I wasn't too crazy about it with this um, background, but. I'm liking it. It's not so bad. And then I've got this. I think I want to bring it down here. But I know I want to bring it up here. Okay, so let me move these. I move this. Let me move that. All right. So then I want to come right up to that and then come right up to that. That's crooked. Okay. And then this I still want up here for that photo. But I'm going to move it down just a little maybe. There we go. Hey, Denise. Oh, you guys, am I boring you yet? So I think what I'm seeing, oh, I do like the green on there. <laughs> Better than the brown. See how it goes. See how that goes. Okay. So down here, and these, are going to go here. If I bring them down just a little, then I have room to put, I could put cousins in the middle there. Let's see. Let's see what happens. And then bring these down just a little. And then I've got the stickers. And then I thought about also putting these guys. Scoot it up here. All right. So the pictures, like I was saying earlier, there's one of all of them on a bench. And then the, just the girls and then just the guys. And then I got to get one of Emma by herself to put her on here. But I thought about putting the kids down here. 
I don't like that. So maybe Hmm. I love the little kids. What do you guys think? Should I use them or not? I could always add them later. Hi, April. Wait, what, Denise? You're sitting on the side of the road waiting for a tow truck? Oh. Do you need me to come get you? Oh, that's awful. I'm so sorry, Denise. See, I like how it says good day, sunshine. And that's what I thought about putting down here. I definitely want to use this for a journaling spot. I might make some journaling spots. Maybe I will leave these off for now. Okay, leave those off. And make some photo mats. Make some photo mats. So I need to go three and a quarter. And waiting for Denise to answer me. Because I might go get her. I don't know. I hope she's okay. I hate that there's so much lag. So let's see. And then I would map those like that. And they would be like that. Oh, cute, cute, cute. Okay. And I want to do these three the same. Because I don't want to make it, you know, I don't want to make it crazy. But I want to make it really cute and colorful. Oops, there went my mouse. There went my mouse. I'm going to have to grab it. I went right behind my maker. So there's that color. So then I want to map this one. I believe. Let's try this and see the, the blossom. Because it's going to be, you know, all of them. And I think it's okay to have some pink. So four by six. I want to go four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So six, let's go four and a quarter. My six and a quarter. Wow, that's just great, you guys. My old paper trimmer <laughs> couldn't handle that. It would it could handle three, you know, but it couldn't handle anything wider than that. I'm gonna have to. I gotta get my mouse, you guys, because I can't see what anybody's saying. And my computer, my laptop's touch screen, but this one isn't. Otherwise, I would touch the screen. Oh, if it happens, it happens on video, right? So let's see. You guys like the kids? Well, hey, Heather. Little cutie patootie. Denise, I'm glad you guys are okay. But I would definitely come get you if you needed me to. On the dark side. Let me see how that looks with this. Because... What do you guys think so far? <coughs> oh, man. This cough, I'm telling you. I about had it, and you know, I need another piece of paper down here, so I think what I'm going to use down here is this one. I just need something, you know? Look, can you guys see all the colors? Oh, I love that. I just love the colors. This paper makes me happy. Makes me happy. Yeah, it definitely needed something down here. 
Okay, and then I've got... I don't think I need any more pink. I don't think I do. But here's... That's not long enough, but I could do something else with it. I might use the light side. I'm going to use the light side of the lagoon instead of... Okay, so I'm going to set those aside. I'm not going to glue those on there because I'm going to put the actual photos on here. And those are just to help me figure it out, you know? So, Denise, how far from town are you guys? Are you out very far? All right, I'm going to get my adhesive and start sticking this stuff down. I told you it wasn't going to be that complicated. I just wanted to use... Zoe and I gotta scroll. Okay, I think I'm going to glue glue. I'm not gluing anything. I'm going to stick this one down first. Oops. Stick that one down first. It's beautiful out here today, you guys. Beautiful. After I get done here, I think I am going to go for a walk. I've got one more load of laundry. And then... All right, I gotta pull this down just so I can see to line it up, you guys. And make sure. You know what I need to be using, don't ya? <laughs> I need to be using that. And I'm going to. Because it also, look at. Okay, so see how that's on the 12 by 12? That is at 10 and a half. Ten and a half. Oh, because it doesn't look straight at first, but it is. I don't know if you could tell. My camera's a little wonky. But you can line these up with these measurements on the side. Isn't that cool? Now I need to do this one. I love this mat. And I get another one free in my bundle. So I'll have two of them. I like two-page scrapbook layouts. I just don't like to take that much time on camera <laughs> to do it. So, I mean, I will do some for you guys eventually. But right now, um, I'm just not there yet, I guess. And I haven't really seen a two-page scrapbook layout that I like enough to do. You know, oh, that's cute together. You guys like that together? I do. And this one is going to go, I got glue on my fingers. All right, and then it was yellow, right? Or was it the green? I think it was the green and then the yellow. Yep, and then the other color. All right, let me get this green on here. Oh, I just love this paper so much. I am going to be sad when it goes. I did not see it when it was original. It was, I believe it was 2015. Don't quote me, but I thought I saw somebody post that in our main consultant group. That that's when it came out. And the stamp pad that you get with the kit is the same one from then as well. So... If you were lucky enough to get this paper back then and you have the stamp set, you don't need to order the kit because you've already got it. Um, like I said, the sticker pack comes with the paper pack. So, um, oh, this isn't wanting to stick. I'm going to squirt a little glue up under there. That's what I'm going to do. Well, maybe. So yesterday we were having internet issues. 
And I was aggravated. You call them and they think it's kind of like, now come on, this will come out. Oh, dang, 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 dang. Let me find my pen, get that out of my way. It's because I left it exposed too long. All right, let's see if I can do this now. There we go. I got some adhesive on here. But look, it just rubs right off. It just rubs right off. You can also use an adhesive remover, remover, yeah, remover eraser. I cannot talk. I swear I used to know how to. Yes, Denise, I love this paper too. Hi, Adam. A few miles from Lincoln. Good Lord, woman. Are you going up there to see Kristen's father-in-law? He lives up that way. Okay. So there's the light. I'm off the dark. And I'm going to... There's just another little place right here that wants to stick up. I'm going to use glue on this one. This glue is safe to use with photos. So that's what I'm going to do. We're almost done. Like I said, I thought I would just pop on here real quick. Tomorrow, though, is going to be, you know, um, all about texture paste. I'm going to show you guys some different things, techniques and stuff like that, tips and tricks on how to use it. Texture paste is really fun. Um, I like it a lot, but I don't want to give anything away, so I can't, I can't talk about it. Stop asking me questions, you guys. I can hear you. I can hear you, because I'm trying to answer them. No, I'm joking. Um, okay, and then, this is going to go here. Cousins is going to go about right here. That's going to go there. These are going to go, this is going to go like this. I'm just going to leave enough at the bottom. And I'll tell you a little hint. If you get some, that's over, just trim it. Trim it up. You know, take this down to 11 and 3 quarter by 11 and 3 quarter. It doesn't have to be a 12 by 12 scrapbook layout. So, if you mess up that way, then, you know, just do that. So, I wanted these so that I could see, sorry, where to place them. And I think I like that. I better stick this back on there. And these will go down here a little bit. This is going to go here. And this. is going to go there. And Cousin's here. So I need to move that up a little bit. So I need to get this stuck down. So that I know where to put. I like this adhesive too. It's close to my heart. But I'm not sure what it's called. I think it's just close to my heart. But look, it's got a little flower on it. Wouldn't that make a cute tattoo? Can you see that? Cute tattoo. All right, so I'm going to scoot this way down so that I can see, okay, and get it lined up. So I want to make sure that I'm between. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Like I said, this then is going to go here. Here. 
You know, if I bring all this down a little bit, I could put that right there. No, nope, I'm going to do it the way I was going to. And then these. Go there, and then these go here, and then I get to start putting stickers on it. I love these little cousin buttons. I do. All right, so I'm going to put adhesive because I can also remove this. So that it doesn't keep falling. All right. For these, I kind of want to go. I don't know if I want to use that color or not now. Looking at it, it's so pink and smoothie isn't as pink. It's more of a melon, and this is more of a pink. Blossom is. So I think I'm going to go with this color, the fern. So let's try this again and see which one I like better. It's not like I won't use the paper. That was four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Usually I would do like four and eight by six and an eighth because I like a really skinny border but because this is for a kid layout I don't mind it being a little bit chunky okay let's see I think I like that better <coughs> I think I do I think I do okay so I'm gonna stick this down I can find my there it is Oh, which color? Which side? Let me see how it looks with this color. I'm going to go with the lighter side. It just looks better. It just looks better. I hope you guys aren't bored. Oh, I could use some coffee. But I've already had two cups, and that's my limit. All right. So now I want to get this straight if I can. If I can. And right there looks good to me. All right. And I'm just going to stick a little piece on there. Oops. There we go. That'll hold it in place. And scoot that back up. I'm gonna put a little a little tiny bit on these two just to get them towards they'll quit moving around. I should be outside working, is what I should be doing. I got a lot to do out there. We tore a garage down in 2016 when my mom was dying and we finally got the city to come and clear it all out where we tore it down because someone decided that I needed all their bricks from tearing down a house and they dumped them back there by my alley and I don't have a tracker I don't have a place to put them so there they sat you know oh I was so mad so mad because the plan was to, for me to put a living fence back there. But we're not going to do that now. Now I just want landscaping. And that's it. I think I'm going to put the middle, put the middle one down first. So let me move all this up. What was that? All right, bring it down. 
about right here. I'm going to put it right there. Bye, Gisela. Enjoy your company. Enjoy, enjoy, girl. All right. All right. Yeah, Denise, I would probably do the same thing. <laughs> Talk to you like you could hear me. Please zoom up just a hair. If that looks crooked or not. I didn't know. Oh, my throat hurts so bad. But I have to say I'm blessed because I went the whole winter. I got a flu shot, my doctor made me. But went the whole winter and didn't get anything. This one's crooked, I'm pretty sure. See, it's repositionable. Isn't that awesome? It'll hold, you know, but it's repositionable, which I love because I've had to reposition a lot. All right. So that's that stuff all stuck down. Now I can start putting these down, and I'm going to use liquid glass to do that. Whew, I need to move some of this. I got a lot of sharp objects over here, you guys. Lots of sharp, sharp objects. Okay. Let's see. O U S I. Nope. This S I N S. So it needs to start right about there. This liquid glass is awesome. It holds really well and I don't want the letters to necessarily be you know perfect I don't want them to be you know like upright gosh come on you guys now you know you can read my mind so let's just get there let's just get there yes and that's my end Okay, so maybe put that one there and that one up there. Here's my eye. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. My S goes this way. Turn it and bring it up a little bit. Because I see I'm trying to put this one is on top of those two. This one's on top of those two. Bring that out a little. And Go this way. Okay, so I've got that done. What do you think? If I hold it straight there, now you can see it. Let me move my finger. Hi, Holly. Hi, Danny. Oh, thank you, Holly. You're so sweet. Okay, so there I've got cousins. And I love that I can use this for boys and girls together because that's my plan, Stan. They are all cousins. So now I think I do want to use the kids. I'm going to get the kids back out and figure out where I want to put them. My little grandbabies. Because they could go anywhere. They could definitely go anywhere. And I'm going to use, I think, foam dots. 
I've got some out over here. Let me get those. Put some of this stuff out of my way. All right. I think I'm going to use foam dots. Let's see. Those are regular, I believe. Yep. And these are thin. I want them to pop up a little bit. Definitely. I got to squeal. I got to scroll down. Oh, if it lets me. Oh, I don't know. They won't let me. Hopefully it doesn't freeze up on you guys. All right. One there. And pull that part off and stick one. Oops. Right there. Okay, there he is. And I'm just, instead of pulling that off, I'm just sticking it and then peeling it off of the carrier sheet. But the other way to do it is to pull it off the carrier sheet, stick it on, and then peel it off. It don't matter. It's however you want to do it. It's however you want to do it. See, so I can do it like that. <clears throat> oh man, my chest is on fire. Yeah, like I said, tomorrow's video is going to be about texture paste and how to use that to make cards and scrapbook layouts, mixed media art, all kinds of things. All right, let's get some of these little ones out here. These little buggers are hard to get in and out. Okay. Because I just don't want it to collapse in the middle. those out of here and I think I might add some sequins to it too just because I like sequins but they add they're fun and playful I don't know I thought about adding uh, adding some stickles to it to make like little sparkly dots. Gosh, I could not get that off of there. But I don't really want to make it too glittery because it the boys are on it. You know, they're going to be on it. So I don't want to make it blingy. I want to keep it pretty neutral. Pretty neutral. Yeah, that one's unstuck. One more. I think these will be really cute popped up. Oh, okay. This is Miss Emma. So I think I'm going to put her here. And I can slip the picture in. And then this is her brother, Liam. Hmm. I don't want to put it there. Let's see. Who do we got over here? That's Malia. That would be Malia. And my Miss Millie May. I think I'm going to keep them all kind of down here. And then here's Zinger. So, there's the kids. Can you see them okay? Aren't they cute? Oh, they're adorable. All right, so let me scoot this up. What do you think so far with the little kids on there? Like I said, these are on clearance for $6.50 for, oh, thank you, Holly, for the uh, die cuts and the stamps. But they're not that hard to fussy cut. Okay. Now let's get some stickers. I've been waiting to use these stickers. Get my sticker sheet over here. Um, oh, I'm reaching it, you guys. Here we go. 
So I thought about using, because it's for outside. Okay, let's look. Let's just look. I've got to contain myself, you guys, because I'm pretty excited about using these. So, what do I want to use? What? Like I said, I think that would make a good journaling, journaling one. I'm going to use some stars because of the boys. But I want to put them where they're going to show up. So, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I think... I should have moved that down a little bit, but it's okay. Maybe the sun. Let me see. Ooh, we'll put the sun right there. Put the sun right there. And I think this kite is adorable. And it's got an L for love. I don't know if that's what it was really for, but. So I thought, put that little kite up there. Isn't that cute? Oh, that is cute. And what else? What else? What else? What else? Because, see, I got plans for some of this stuff, too, so I don't want to use it all on my layout. don't want to do that. Um, I think I need a butterfly up here. We'll do that. Down here, I think take that off of there because it doesn't belong go with best day and you are so loved because they are oh sorry let me scoot up i'm putting these little stickers down here it's a little bird graffiti stickers and <laughs> I definitely want to put a star, but I don't know if you'll see it. Don't know if you will. They've got flowers. See the ice cream, I want to say, for something. They've got this star. I wonder if that will show up. This would be better if I put it on something and backed it. And I really don't feel like doing that right now. Okay, I'm going to leave this for now. And then I'm going to... I've got a black pilot right here. Just real fine tip. Real fine tip marker. I'm going to do a little doodling. You do love it, Denise. Well, thank you, darling. So, like, up here where the butterfly is, I'm just going to make some dotted lines, go around, come back, and kind of go off the page. Let me show you that. See? That's all I'm going to do to that. And then, I don't know, maybe... Make it like it's... Maybe an X down there. You know, just some doodling. You know. What is stuck to me? That is stuck to me. I wonder what was stuck to my arm. Let's see. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm right-handed, so I always have to turn everything. I don't want these lines to be perfect. And I'm going to go around. See how I did that? I just went to it. And then start where she is. Go over to her cousin. And whoops. Draw that. Now I've got to do this one.
There's that one. Maybe a few noodles down there. And I think I'm going to outline. When you do something like this, be very careful so you don't slip. But I'm going to outline the kite just so it pops a little bit off the page. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Can you see how it makes it stand out? Don't be afraid to write and draw and color on your scrapbook pages, you guys. Okay? Because it's all about you and the love that you have for the people in the photos that you are scrapping. You know, there, I, it's a shame that not more people scrapbook. It's sad. Everybody thinks, well, I can uh, take pictures on my phone. Really? How many phones have you lost in your life because they just quit working? You know, how many computers have crashed? See how that just makes that pop out? I'm going to do the same thing to the sun over here. So, you see the sun before, oops, before I go. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm just going to trace around it. But no, it's a sad art, that, or a wonderful art, but it's sad that it's being lost. Because the younger generation, they just, they're too busy. They're in a hurry to do everything. You know, I got a 32-year-old daughter, a 30-year-old daughter, a 23-year-old son, and a son's getting ready to turn 19. I know how it is. I'm not judging anybody. It's just the way it is. Everybody's going too quick. Everybody's in a hurry to get nowhere. That is exactly what it is. And as a parent, I just sit back and wait. I'm patient. So there's where I traced out the sun. See, I just think it just kind of makes it pop. Pop, 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 pop. I think. Should I trace this out? I don't know. I'm going to trace around these. And I'm going to purposely exaggerate. See? Like that. So that it looks like a kid did it. I'm going to do this one the same way. Oh, sorry, you guys. But see how I went over and then came too far? I just think it looks cute that way. Because it's a kid, you know, a kid layout. So I want to make it look like a kid. And I think we need to put antlers on the butterfly. And I think I want to come down here. I'm just making little dots to try and form the body. And I'm going to fill it in with dots. I'm not going to solid color it solid. I'm just going to fill it in with dots. Let's see. I wonder if I share my autofocus. There you go. Back on. And I think I'm going to. Trace the butterfly. I am almost done. Oops. Oh, worst thing to say when you're cutting somebody's hair is whoops. Isn't that right, you guys? Oh. Okay, so that part I did. So I think. Now I'm going to get my white jelly roll. Jelly roll! You all know how I feel about my jelly roll. Make sure it's ready to do its job. Okay, i got to turn this. I thought. I might be 
cute. Let's do something like that. I'll show you here in a second. Oh, just putting stitches on it. Mm hmm I love the white on black, you guys. Y'all know that. That Daisy ink. Oh, I love it. Love it. I ordered the re-inker. Oh, I think my husband woke up. I hear him walking around. Yeah, he did wake up. I have been awake. I've been watching TV. I thought you were... He thought I was done filming, you guys. So he just heard his mouth. <laughs> That's okay. See, I just put some stitching in there. And I'm almost done. What did I just do with my black? Did I put it back? I put it back. So on these, I just want to emphasize the circles. Oh. I just want to emphasize the circles. Oops. It's okay. Don't freak out when you do stuff like that. But that's why I said go slow. Because, see, I kind of drew on my ass a little bit. But you know what? It's all right. It's not going to ruin the picture. Because it's about the pictures. All right, I think I'm gonna call it done, you guys. See, I messed up a little bit, but that's all right. It's no big deal. I'll just take one of those sand erasers, sand it off, and then touch it up with the ink. So there we are, cousins, you guys, and there's the cousins. Them little babies at the bottom. Oh, I love them. All right. If I do anything else to it, oh, thank you, Holly. Thank you, Denise. Denise and hi, Michael. You can say hi, Denise. Hi, Denise. All right. There it is. Cousins. So I'll be back tomorrow at 2 p.m. Central Time, my regular time for Sundays. And we're going to be playing with texture paste. All right. Again, these little kids are on clearance. This is the Zoe paper pack. You can get the paper pack with the sticker sheet which is this right here. Love the sticker sheet. Um, by itself, you can get coordinated cardstock by itself. Or, and you can get the stamp set by itself. Or you can get it all in a kit for $32, which is marked down. And I just ordered the kit yesterday because I do have this paper pack, but as you see, I've cut it. But I've got a lot left. I'm going to make some cards out of it too and probably another layout to go along with this and put them, you know, double page. But anyway, I love you guys. I want you to have a good weekend. I hope you have a good weekend. And I will talk to some of you later. I'm sure. I'm sure I will. So, and peace out.